Welcome. Welcome to episode 5 of the Vinland Saga reaction series. The last episode, episode 4, called A True Warrior, was a very heartbreaking episode. And at the same time, one of the best episodes of anime I have seen so far. Of course, with the death of Tors, who was such an interesting and well-developed character. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him. Now the question is, what's gonna happen with Thorfinn? And especially as he has witnessed his father's death in person, directly. And in that kind of gruesome way to see him dying in front of his eyes and he couldn't do anything. How is that gonna affect Thorfinn? What consequences will this important death have on Thorfinn? What is he gonna do? How is he gonna act? If you carry all of this hatred and rage no one can tell what you're gonna do so we will see how this young boy is gonna progress develop over time with the death of his father always in the back of his mind so yes Let's get into episode 5. The troll's son. Hmm. Oh, look at him. Completely starved. Ah, and of course... Is that rainwater or... Salt water? Ah, salt water. And that means he can't drink anything. It's not just mental suffering but also physical suffering now they're all they're in england now hmm. he can still run there you can see glimpses of his power of will Imagine not be being able to drink water for some time. I think I would have the same reaction. A village burning down. Who's that? Whoa. Oh, look at those eyes. Hmm. Tightly holding on to his father's dagger. The last thing that remains of him. Hmm. The rage is boiling. He can't do it. And Askeladd was wide awake. I'm also impressed because he wants to face him directly in a one on one duel. So cowardly. No, his sword is stuck. Ah, the payout. 
What's he gonna answer? Hmm. Not really. That was a, a very heroic death. Hmm. <laughs> the scraps. <laughs> now he has to resort to eating the scraps oh no I completely forgot that they don't know is she hiding it? Is she trying to put her emotions into work by distracting herself and being busy? She ignores her feelings. Her eyes say it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel this feeling. He's learning. Ah. Oh. Ah. That wolf was just probably hungry, looking for some food. But in nature, it's kill or be killed <laughs> yeah he can throw it I can already see it coming he will be a master with the dagger I guess this time is gonna be a bit different Because I have no choice. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but he's still just blindly swinging around. Ah. That's gotta hurt. Oh. Yes. Oh. A daring move. Yeah, that that impressed him, I can tell. Promise between warriors. Hmm. Look at him. Now, in this episode, it was very entertaining and interesting to see how Torfin progressed and 
was getting better and better and more efficient and at hunting and providing for himself because as I can recall so far he has always been with his family so many things have been provided for him already he did of course some labor some work on the farm but he was never on his own having to be respons completely responsible for himself so we got to see that in that episode in this episode we also get to see more of the mercenary group led by Askelad and how they think and act and of course I knew that already but here it was emphasized that these men are not just some kind of monsters only raping uh, women and ransacking villages killing people there's more to them they are also human and of course one has to understand that this is their way of life they are born into this life into this environment and of course they are raised to be this way at least most of them and then it makes sense that they also would act accordingly and do these kinds of things because this is the the way of the vikings this is the way they were so it's still not forgivable what they have done it was really hard to watch this uh, the section in the beginning where they burned down the village and massacred the inhabitants but that's the way it is I, I like the sentence it's a promise between warriors that Askelad said as Torfin asked him to to redo the duel between the two of them when he when Tolfin has achieved something of significance on the battlefield then Askeladd is ready or prepared to grant him this wish again and I think next time that's gonna happen Askeladd is not going to deal with Tolfin that easily I'm excited for that. Okay, thanks for watching this reaction. If you enjoy these videos and have not sus subscribed yet, you can do that, of course, if you want to. You can also visit my Patreon for early access and full reactions. Yeah, take care and bye.